I came across another non-candy thing. Oh, <laughs> I love these kind of things. It's a uh, notepad, but it's one of those like, I don't know what you would call this. It's just, I've seen these things on the internet where it's like little food made to look like cutesy little cartoon characters. <laughs> I love this cut. I love the little, um, like the little, what is it? The little cat that looks like a, what is it? A kitten that looks like a peach? I forget. But yeah, it's a little, um, it's a cutesy little egg. <laughs> I don't know why that's, that's so much more amusing than it should be. I love this kind of shit. This, the kind of thing you just, it's just, it's so Jap, it's so Japan. And this is what, I don't remember if I showed this already, sorry, but he's like, Oh, he's curled up in a little fetal position. <laughs> that seems kind of twisted. He's like, is he like afraid? Is he afraid to be eaten? In this image, I think it's probably on the front too. Yeah, in this image, he's like curled up on a piece of toast. <laughs> okay, I'm far too amused by that. Oh my god, what is this? This is, it's big is what it is. It is green. Um... Oh, oh, it's a little, um, thing of mayonnaise. Cool. That's, I did not expect to get that. That's cool. I stopped eating, um... Yeah, there's nothing on here I can read except for Kewpie mayonnaise. <laughs> 90th ever new. Whatever that means. Does it have an expiration date on it? Oh, here we go. 2016. Okay, so it's still safe. Hey, I'm tasting everything else in here. I, um, I actually, I love mayo, but I, I gave it up when I went primal because, um, I, I went on the paleo diet, aka primal, um, and one of the things I gave up was mayo because it has, at least American mayo, I don't know, I have no idea what this, it's in this, I can't read the label, but, um, it's got, um, the regular American mayo that you buy at the store, like Kraft, whatever, it always has, like, really bad junk oils in it, like soybean oil and stuff like that, and it's not good for you. Ooh, that's good. Mmm! Oh, it's a little, it's a little sweet, actually. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let me try it again. Reminds me a little bit of Miracle Whip, but I, I'm one of those people that does not like Miracle Whip, but this doesn't taste as Miracle Whippy. This, I think, I haven't had mayo in a long time, but I think this is a, feel, this tastes like kind of a hybrid between mayo and um, Miracle Whip. It's, it's all right. It's not like my favorite kind of mayo, but this video might have to be a two-parter because I am going to run out of tape before I finish at this rate. Okay, I'm not going to put that away. Okay, oh, here's another um, of those little cylindrical thingies. This one says Mini Vita C. It's supposed to mean that it has vitamin C in it. Orion's Mini Vita C. That's what it looks like. And at least I know how to open these now. I felt really dumb with that first one. These are kind of yellowish. Oh, crap. You either get just one or like 10,000. Again, it reminds me of sweet tarts, but I'm not sure. If, mm, I was making my mouth water a lot. I'm actually not sure exactly what flavor that is. There is still a ton of shit in this box. Oh, my. Okay, what is this now? I can actually read this one. At last, a not too sticky, calcium enriched soft candy that's both healthy and tasty. Somehow I doubt the healthy part, but. <laughs> it is, says ca calcium enriched. I guess this is like a, some kind of milk flavored candy. I can't read anything else on it. Oh, it comes in little. Some kind of soft candy. Some kanji and a cow. You know, if I pause this, every time I had to like struggle with the wrapper, I probably could have saved a lot of time here. Oh yeah, it's a little white, kind of squishy candy. Oh, it's really soft. 
Mm. Oh, it's milk. It's very like. It tastes like milk. <laughs> like, oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like sweetened condensed milk in like a candy form. That's really good. I like it. Sticking in my teeth though. <laughs> oh, here's more, uh, more candy cigarettes. It looks like the same thing as the last box of candy cigarettes, so I'm not going to open it. Mm. Mm, I cannot read this. It feels like a stick of some kind. Oh wow, that smells. Ah, it is, I was right, it was a stick. I wonder if it's gum or candy. Mmm, it smells like something. Mmm, definitely gum. <laughs> it's dissolving, it's not gum, it's a, it's a very chewy. Making me <laughs> making my mouth water. It's very. It's one of those very chewy candies that slowly dissolves. Like um, oh, what are they called? Um, well, I'm gonna guess this is soda flavor because it's got a picture of like a, a soda thing on it. Um, what are those candies called? They're like the Japanese candies that you see. At, like I've seen them at like every grocery store. Watch them be in here. That'd be funny after I said that. Oh well, whatever. Oh, these are chocolates. Fujia is apparently the company that makes it. I cannot read any of that, sorry. But um, it looks like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like something chocolate. <laughs> There's the back. Nothing on here I can read. Oh, <laughs> cute. It's... Yeah, it's... Okay, this is going to be like a bar of chocolate. Here, let me show you what it looks like right now. Hmm. Yeah, there's like little characters and stuff on the inside. And... Oh, here's what the package looks like. I don't think this is a bar of chocolate. I think it's like pieces of chocolate, but it... it I don't know, the packaging makes it look like a bar of chocolate, so I don't know. Ah, uh, it's got... Okay, it's pieces of chocolate on one of those little cardboard trays. Ooh, it smells good. Chocolate, yay! Okay, these are like... All these little... I need to try to show this to you, because I... Try to not... It's like all these little characters. I have no idea what they're from, if anything, but... Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this, this little guy with the weird face. Mmm, there's something inside it. It's like, not super good quality chocolate, but you know, it's chocolate, so I'm not complaining. Um, I guess I'll try one more. I, I'm not sure what's in the center. Yeah. yeah, I have no, I cannot, I cannot tell what's in the center, but um, there's still, it's not, it's not super good quality chocolate, but you know, I, I'm not picky. I'll eat, I'll eat any chocolate pretty much. I don't think I've had... It looks like the back is telling me what's in the center, but I can't read it. So if you can read that, <laughs> feel free to let me know what it says. Okay. I believe this is Power Rangers. Nining, Nininger, Nininger. Something with, I believe that's uh, some iteration of Power Rangers. Um, Mmm, it smells kind of funky, but... Oh, it's some kind of gummy candy. It's got... Ooh, it's really soft. Wow, it totally squishes, but... Yeah, it's got... Each one has a little star on it. They're squishy. Mmm. They're surprisingly tough to chew, though. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I guess I'm tasting grape? Yeah, I think that's grape. Mmm. Pretty good. Well, this is some kind of nuts. I hope. It says nut selection. I'm not sure what the... The package looks kind of weird. Well, here's... Nut selection. The Grace of Sun. That looks oddly like 
bugs of some kind. This better not, you better not have sent me bugs. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who's like, yay, chocolate covered bugs. I'm going to eat that on camera. No, that's, that's, that's not me. Oh, it's, it's fish. Okay. They're whole little fish. Oh my God. They are, ho okay, okay. I see what these are. These are whole little tiny fish. Yeah, um... <laughs> I'll try one of the nuts, but that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to be... I'm not one of those people who's really daring. And I actually don't like fish. But I'm going to fish out one of these nuts. No pun intended. I can't believe I just did that. I don't even want to touch them. That is so... Oh, wow. That's, um... They're fish? What if I could show these to you? Would you be able to see them? These are like whole fish, and they're like covered in sesame seeds. That is very unique. They, you know, I, I, I applaud their uniqueness, but damn. That's, uh, that's a little hardcore for me. I don't think I can fish out one of the nuts, so I'm gonna... I'm going to re-gift these to somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this is... Oh, this looks like more of those little gum things. This appears to be a different kind. The other one was pink, and this is actually kind of an orangey color. And once again, it has something in the center. That smells... Citrusy? Yeah, I'm not sure what flavor it is. I'm sorry to keep saying that. I'm really bad at, like, figuring out what things taste like. But I'm pretty sure it tastes citrusy. I see Pocky! I think I see Pocky. Oh, <laughs> cute. Pokemon-themed Pocky. Looks like Pocky with white chocolate on it. Who's that Pokemon? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> I guess I'll talk about my very brief history with Pokemon. Basically, I watched the... I never played the games, um, except I played Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Stadium, but other than that, I never really played the games. I just... I watched the cartoon for the first three seasons or so, and that's it. <laughs> that is my whole... That is my whole history with Pokemon right there. So I am familiar with it. I know, I certainly know, I'm no stranger to Pokemon, but um, I'm noticing a lot of these have like newer Pokemon on them, which I have never seen before. How the freaking hell do you open this? Mmm. That's pretty good. It's, um... Pocky with a very, very thin coating of white chocolate. Which is probably a good thing, because white chocolate tends to be super sweet. <laughs> it's kind of good. It's very subtle. Yay, Pocky. Oh, I see one other thing of Pocky in here. I guess I'll go ahead and try it. Oh, this is Thomas the Tank Engine. Or Thomas and Friends, whatever. Yeah. It's weird seeing something I... Something... That I recognize. Actually, I assume Thomas the Tank Engine is American, but I could be wrong. Oops, <laughs> I got a broken one. Oh well. Yeah. Very thin coating of chocolate on that. It's all right. I would have, um, I would have preferred a thicker coating because I'm, I am one of those people who loves chocolate. I have got nine minutes left. I'm definitely not going to finish this in time. Let's just see how long I can go. This is a little guy with a green and blue tongue. That's weird. 
And there's nothing on here I can read. Oh! Okay, it's, uh... Either gum or candy, and it's... One is blue and one is green. I don't know if you're supposed to eat them both together or what, but... Haichu! That's the name of that candy I was trying to think of earlier that... It seems like gum at first, but then it dissolves. I knew I'd remember eventually. Pretty sure the stuff is actually gum because it's not dissolving like the other stuff did, but it's such a small amount. I'm just gonna swallow it. Here's another big package of something. This is another kind of candy where it's specifically flavored like something I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like, I think. Um, here's the back and it shows some sort of green, a couple of green stalks. I'm guessing that's what it tastes like. Um, the packaging on this reminds me of the other thing. No, it's not the same brand or anything. It reminded me of this, but different sizes and it doesn't appear to be the same brand or anything, so doesn't mean it won't be similar. It comes in a nice little package there. Oh, it's hard candy. Mmm. That's really good. I put it. <laughs> I'm starting to lose track of where I'm putting everything. Hmm. I feel like I should know. It's, it tastes familiar, but I can't quite place it. If you can read any of this or, or um, tell me what these green things are, I'm guessing that's what it's meant to taste like. Again, like that other thing. Mmm. is really good. I like it a lot. It's, um, what does it remind me of? Um, licorice maybe? It has kind of a, it's sweet, but it's not super sweet. It has almost a, a savory kind of taste too. This is, um, uh, animal stamp candy. Hmm. Oh! They are candies, but they're little stamps. Oh my god, that is so cool! It's hard candy in the shape of a little stamp, and there's a little impression there of a little a little mouse, I think? Yeah, that's a mouse. And you could, like, stamp it onto something, like if you had a, a soft candy, I guess. You could stamp it onto there. That is so cool. I just want to see what one tastes like. Hmm. I'm not sure what it tastes like. That's pretty cool. They make it look like you would stamp it on a... Are you supposed to like lick it and stamp it on something? That's sort of gross. I suddenly want to try it though. Yeah, that's what you do. You lick... Okay, you take this, you lick it, and you stamp it on a piece of paper. It doesn't work super well, but you, you stamp with it. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Okay, maybe not literally, but that's still pretty weird. Well, um, I'm down to three minutes on my tape, and there's no- I'm maybe probably more than halfway through this box, but I'm not sure how much, so, uh, I think I'm gonna end this here and make this video a two-parter. I had no idea that was going to take me so long, but, um, yeah, um, even though I haven't gone through everything, uh, thank you for sending me this, uh, fat kid. It's awesome. Um, I'm sorry I didn't try the fish, the fish nut things, because that's just, I, I, mm, I have, I have kind of, I'm, I'm a wuss. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, everything else so far has been awesome. Um, not sure what else to say for now. Um, just, uh, stay tuned for part two, I guess. <laughs>